So if we go into the favorite book page, uh, you can see here I've already listed a couple of ways you can accomplish this. Uh, and this is from the pods context. So I could use um, our pods block that's in pods 2.8. It's a new one. Uh, it lets you list a single item and you can define, you know, if you want a title, a link, an image, a custom field. You can also define um, a, your own custom block with our blocks API, purely with PHP. So I don't even have to write any JavaScript at all. And uh, I can supply certain variant uh, variables and it'll be able to render that with PHP. So if I go to edit this, it'll look like this. So I've got my favorite book of 2020 title here, and then I have a subheading, and then I've got my block. So this is my block. I'm using a pod single item, and I've got a custom template here defined, so I can actually define a couple of different things. I use these things that we call in pods magic tags, and I can just output them uh, however I need. Um, usually they're very easy to use, like post title or permalink, or um, I can use a custom field name. It's, it's, it should be very self um, intuitive as, 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 as long as you reference the documentation for pods, it, this should be a very, very easy process to do. Uh, you can actually use it uh, in this context. So in this case, uh, I have a, a book that uh, I want to supply to this block and it's a custom block I've built. And uh, you can say, I, I have a specific field I wanna pull in. So I say, I wanna just pull the book ID. So this is easy. I could maybe have a selection here, but uh, I kept it easy. I said, I want to sort of put a book ID field. And uh, then I'm actually rendering that same exact template that was here, but with PHP. Uh, so building that kind of interface is, is quite easy when you're working with um, a number of different block builders out there. Pods is, is one of them. ACF has blocks and it's ACF Pro. Uh, and there's a lot of other block builders out there, especially uh, the newer ones like, um, I know there's a Genesis block builder now that, that's been released recently. Uh, but the block building interface with PHP is pretty easy with pods. It's, uh, it's similar to the way that ACF works as well. Um, it, but it, in some ways it's a little simpler in, in actual how it, it ends up being used. So in this example here, I'm, I'm rendering uh, the book based off the book ID. If it's not set or whatever, I I've give it some logic here and I, I'm able to return that exact template for that book. Uh, it, but I can also create my own blocks with whatever I want and I can actually render it um, uh, in a simpler way in some, some places. So. There's some examples I'll, I'll be sure to post. Uh, there's a gist that I'll have all of the information here. Um, so moving forward, I can actually use that same interface for any any plugin. So so if I, I've got custom fields coming in from ACF or for, from some another another plugin outside of pods, I can actually use the block builder as well as the, um, the pods blocks themselves to render those fields. So here's the exact same thing happening same thing is working great. So I'm not going super into detail with the block editor because everyone wants to know about the other page builders. So I'm gonna switch gears and go into those next.